see that? That's going to be my barrier for these pieces of tape. Mm -hmm. and then I can stick those right there. So this isn't sterile then, right? Nope. Is the tape on the outside of the dress and going to be outside. sterile? No, 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 it's not. And some people like waiting to tape at the very end. I like having at least one piece of tape available for my disposal. Because think about it, if I'm doing a dressing change on the bottom of the heel, can I put that dressing in place and expect it to stay there? No, no I'm gonna need a piece of tape to anchor it in place until I can tear the rest of my tape, okay? So if you can go ahead and get it set up right here, then it's good to go. Mm -hmm. I can just put that in my pocket. Now, I am going to, and to me it really doesn't matter if you open these first and then take off this dressing or take off this dressing and then open these first. Do you have a preference, Mr. Collins? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off my old dressing first. Just regular plain gloves. Clean gloves. When you're taking off the tape, you want to make sure that you pull it parallel to the skin. You don't want to be pulling it up. And because the tape can stick to your gloves, it helps if when you're pulling it, if you kind of fold it back on itself, it doesn't re-stick to the patient. So you go ahead and you loosen all the tape. Now, do these normally splash or do you? If you're, that's a good point. If you're irrigating, it might. But this, we're just, doctor said, clean it with normal saline and apply a dry dress. Now, patient's head's up here. Do I want to take the dressing off this way? No. Or this way? That, that way. way. That's fine. Y'all learn something from your bed bath. When I take this off, before you throw it away, make sure you look at the dressing. That's the first step, is look at the old dressing and tell me what you see on it. I might say there's a dime size um, amount of drainage that's serosanguinous. Now can I throw this away? Yes. Yep. Then I'm going to assess the wound. So we've assessed the old dressing and I didn't notice any odor on that. Okay. Now I'm going to assess the wound. One, two, three. Three inches. It's approximated with staples. I have my gloved hand so I can feel the surrounding tissue. There's no redness or induration, no visible drainage noted. Don't notice any odor. Now I can get rid of these. <coughs> Throw these away. Now I'm ready to open up my supplies. Now, we do have a lefty in here. And it doesn't matter that you're left-handed, but the key is you have to open these up so that you do not cross over the previous package. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna open right, left to right. Can you visualize this before I ever open? See, I'm not crossing over the one that I just opened. I'm not crossing over. However, if I did it this way, yes, you see how I'm <coughs> crossing over? So you have to pay very close attention. And sometimes you feel like a contortionist in having to go around so you're not crossing over your field. And as I said, I'm going to pin this down and pull this back. You see how I pick these up to get it situated? Don't feel like you have to be tortured down here. You can pick it up. You're not going to cross over that little barrier. You see how you don't have much room at all?
see how different that one looks. Mm -hmm. Can I touch that? No. No. Why? It's sterile. It's sterile, and if it were to flop closed, yeah, it, it would contaminate. Then this is my ABD. And if it seems to want to flop back, just pull that corner. Okay. Now I have to open this. When you open your saline, you want to always leave the cap up. This would be contaminating. that out of the way. Now we do what is called palming the label, which means you're going to put your palm over the label. Why would we do that? So you can see how much is coming in the outside. Think about it. If I were pouring it this way and the liquid ran down the label, what might happen to the label? It would contaminate it. Not so much contamination. It would just it wash may, it off. It may smear it so that I couldn't read it. And that's really, if you think about these syrupy cough syrups, if you let it run down, the, and it's already a dark cherry color, can you see how it might make it hard to read? Mm -hmm. So any medicine, and this is considered a medicine. And it really happens, that's why we do it. It really does, okay? So you palm the label, and then we do what is called lifting the bottle, because we're gonna be pouring it out of here. So I've got my garbage can right here, I'm going to, just pour a little bit and that just kind of cleanses, even though it's sterile, it's just an extra step that we take and pour a little solution over the lip of that bottle. And then I can put it back down. Now, what do I have to do? I get my gloves on. Where am I gonna put my gloves on? You said where? Where? Yeah, there's no space left on the table. There's no space left on the table. That's other, another sterile uh, place right here where the where you're doing your. This is a sterile field. Right? It does make it challenging. This is where your critical thinking comes into play. How can I do this? Another uh, You're not going to have another one. In you know that. <laughs> we could do it several different ways. I could bring this in here. And I could open them here. I could open them this way. Okay. Are you contaminating that field? No. Nope. Okay. Am I, I'm not. Okay. Right? Now, if I were to pull this table over it, I would. Or another thing we could do, and guys, this is where you really have to start thinking. This is a small dressing. Sometimes we have huge dressings. We could do, we could do something like, I'm not crossing over. Y'all, sometimes it looks so awkward, but just don't cross over the field. You'll, you'll go, oh, I look silly. Uh, nobody cares how you look. Just don't break the field. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Have I done anything wrong there? No. No. Now I have all of this room. That is kind of curious right there. this out of the way. And you may have to move things more than once. I'll leave it like that for right now. If you have a cooperative patient, could I open my gloves on the bed? Yeah. Yes, you could. As long as you don't think the patient's going to put their hand in it or reach over it. Um, you just have to do a lot of teaching. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to show you two different methods that you can do this dressing change. Right? Is this a sterile field when I open it up? Yes. I could save this. I'm just telling you things you could do. I could save this and put gauze on that. Couldn't I? Mm -hmm. I could use this as my sterile field. Now, the first method I'm going to show you 
is a one-handed method. All right. So what you're basically doing is you're cleaning with one hand, dressing with another. Okay. Can you keep get on your mat in your mind and hold on to that? So I'm going to put on one glove. Pick it up, step back. Got on one glove. I'm only going to use one glove right now. I'm only putting on one glove because if I put on my other glove, what am I doing? Contaminating. I have to contaminate it, correct? Mm -hmm. So I've got my one, I've got my palm over it. Now, one of the hardest things you'll do is separating these galls. You have to pin down the bottom one with your thumb as you pick up the other one. You're going to hold this in your palm over the trash can. You're going to wet your sponge. You're going to squeeze it out. Now, when we clean a wound, we're going to start top to bottom. If you had a large wound, say 12 inches, then we're going to start in the middle, and we're going to go middle to top, middle to bottom. But this one is a short wound, so I'm going to clean top to bottom. Why do we clean top to bottom? Clean to dirty. Clean to dirty. Why is the bottom the dirtiest? Um, you think perineum, and, and maybe that might have a part of it. Which way is the drainage going to flow? Down. 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 So can you see how that would be the dirtiest? All right. So we're going to start at the top. We're going to start right over the incision line. I'm going to hold on to this rather than putting it down. Start at the center, and rather than dragging the gauze down, I want you to rotate your gauze. Why do we do that? So you can keep using a clean side. We're not use, we're, we're using a clean surface for each part of that incision line. Okay. Gonna keep my hands above the level of the waist because it's sterile. Do you see I'm pulling in my elbow so I'm not like this? I'm not reaching over. Now I'm gonna do it again, and this time I'm gonna clean distal. Now might this be really difficult in some cases? Remember our little Escar one that we had a while ago? You might use a whole lot of stuff, okay? Ms. Clover's showing you a very simple one. And 4 by 4s they come in packages like this, or they come in these little plastic containers that have tin. So if you have a big one, all we have to do is open one of those plastic containers, which is really nice. But we don't want to waste them, so unless you know you're going to use that many, we don't want to. Okay? So we clean, clean, clean. We're going to take the fourth one and we're going to pat dry. Toss it. So remember I said we're going to use one hand to clean and one hand to dress. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to take off my first glove. My second glove, I'm going to put it on as if it were another first glove, right? So I would pick it up, step back. Now I could separate these. You can do this any way you want. And I can lay it down right here. Pick up my second one. If I want to fold this over, I can fold it in half and make it smaller. Do you see? It depends on what you need to adequately cover this. What if I were to put this down, I'm backtracking, what if I were to put it down and it fell like that, and mm -hmm. I didn't want it like that, because I'm aimless and I want it to be. Can I go like this? Can you? 
bitch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's sterile. Is, is the skin sterile? No. No. So you don't want to do any dragging. If it falls there, that's the way it must stay. Because see, I might have bacteria right here that if I if I reposition it, I'm pulling it over to the incision line. So if it falls, you just say, I'm sorry, I'll have to do better next time. All right? <laughs> so I've got that, and then I'm gonna take my ABD pad and touch it only on the on the back side. Never ever, can I set this down right here? Yes. Yes, yes. I can because it's sterile. Never pick something up, any type of dressing, and hold it on both sides. Did you see? Always pick it up and touch only the side that it's away from the patient. That in place. Is my sterile procedure over? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. It is. Because yeah, my tape's not sterile. Exactly. I could take my piece of tape that I have, tape it in place, and if I don't like having my gloves on, I can take my gloves off and finish taping. You can window pane format. You can just do it across. Sometimes depending on how the patient moves, you know, if it's an abdominal dressing and they're bending, we don't want it to buckle. So you have to tape it so that it works best for your patient. I've got it taped. And then lastly, you're gonna this take a pen. Very important. You're going to put your initials date and the time. Who can tell me what time it is military? 25, 30, 30, 60. 13, 29. I'll just do 30. 13, 30. Why is this important? Because when it goes to change again, you're going to look at it. Like the time it says change Q4 hours. you got to know when four hours is up. Because if you say change it every shift, let's say I'm really busy and I'm working first shift and I don't get it changed until 2.30 in the afternoon. And then the next nurse comes in and she says, I'm going to get all my dressings changed first. And she goes in at 3.30, then it's only been an hour since it's been changed, even though it was done once a shift. And then when you put your piece of tape with your initials and your date on it, put it on the dressing part and not on the tape. Because sometimes when you put it on the tape, you can't read it very well, but you can read it when it's on that white dressing. 